everybody, welcome back. I hope you're doing really well. I'm back today. Um, the first video that I've filmed in a really long time. I feel like I kind of burned myself out a little bit with YouTube. I'm trying to balance everything with working full time and stuff. It just got a little bit crazy. I thought today I'd just sit down, just film a really chilled first video back. Gonna do a little favourites video. These are just recent things that I absolutely love. Um, so many good things recently. So yeah, I thought I'd just sit down, have a little chat, have a little catch up and show you some things that I have loved recently. So yeah, I've had to get rid of my fringe for today because it's so humid and forehead sweat is not on the agenda. I've got quite a nice mix of makeup bits, skincare, hair care, a couple of books. Um, so a really nice sort of mixture of everything. Starting off with skincare products, I've got quite a good selection of new bits. I can't remember what I have mentioned because I haven't filmed for about a month. So I've got a feeling that I used this in my maybe one of my last makeup videos. I'm pretty sure I did but anyway it doesn't really matter. This is the Hello Sunday Everyday SPF 50. Um, this is the SPF that I've been using pretty much every day recently. It's quite hard to find an SPF 50 for your face um, that sits really nicely underneath makeup but this is amazing. This and the Murad one are the only two that I've found that sit really nicely underneath makeup. Um, this just feels like a moisturiser, really nice consistency, smells really nice, I really like this brand. A couple of other things from this brand as well, but this is definitely my favourite. If you are looking for a new everyday SPF, this is just so amazing. While we're on the topic of SPF, I have got another product. This is the Sol de Janeiro SPF 50 Stick. So, if you've ever used their products, you will know they just smell amazing, like they just smell like holiday. Um, but this is like a stick version, so it's SPF 50, but in a stick. I actually bought this mainly to use on my tattoos. Obviously, looking after your tattoos in the sun is so important. I'm saying this because I fucking do them and it winds me up when people don't look after them. I'm spending my life on Instagram at the moment just seeing tattoos that I've done out in the sun. And I think, please don't hurt me like this. Something like this is amazing. SPF 50, obviously great. Um, but yeah, so easy to use. So like you can literally just kind of run it over your tattoos. It doesn't feel like greasy or anything. It kind of just feels like a really light moisturiser. Um, it says you can use this on your face. I probably wouldn't just because it's quite like perfumed and my skin gets a little bit sensitive, but you definitely can. It says that you can. Um, but yeah, I just think this is a really good one for kind of like topping up. Um, really good for tattoos. It says you can use it on your lips as well. So it's a very good like all round product for summer um, and just smells amazing. All right, next up, I've got another sort of body product. Um, so this is by Pharmology. It's the coconut body oil. So I was actually contacted by Pharmology because I had posted on Instagram about, it's kind of a long story, but when I get quite anxious, I get really bad itchy like legs and I scratch my legs really, really hard and I like just end up covered in bruises and like cuts and stuff. And I was using the Child's Farm cream to help with that, which is a baby brand, but it's really, really gentle on the skin. Um, and then Pharmology got in contact with me because they are like the adult brand of Child's Farm, so they're like sister brands, but this is just like the grown up version. Um, and they asked me if I wanted to try some of their products and yeah, I absolutely love them. Um, this is so, so nice. I love coconut oil, um, but this, I don't know why, but it's not as greasy. Like, I don't know if there's something in it that makes it slightly less greasy, but it's just like a spray bottle, so really good as well because coconut oil can be a bit messy. Um, I just think it's really good to have coconut oil in like a contained thing because it ends up just getting everywhere if you have it in like a tub or anything. Um, but yeah, I've tried quite a few things from the Pharmology brand and I absolutely love their stuff. To use as natural as possible stuff on my skin, so something like this, which is pretty much mainly coconut oil, is amazing. Never irritates my skin and just makes you feel really smooth. Next up, I've got an eye cream and this is the Bare Minerals Ageless Phyto Retinol Eye Cream. I've been using this for probably like a month or so. I've probably used like half of it um, and I really love it. I've never really been able to find an eye cream that I really, really like. I used to use the Origins Ginseng one. I did like, but it always felt like a little bit too light. I like something that feels quite like nourishing. But yeah, I've been using this every morning and night. I feel like where my hay fever has been quite bad, I've been getting quite dry, like under eyes and on my eyelids and this just cleared all of it up. Um, it sits really nicely underneath makeup as well. It doesn't make anything move. And it just makes a really nice base for like my concealer. It just sits really nicely on top of it. Um, so yeah, really like this. I've been very into Bare Minerals actually. It's a brand that I haven't really tried a lot of stuff from. But yeah, I've been really liking them lately. But last but not least, skincare wise, is the beautiful, beautiful Frost Beauty launch. Um, if you don't know already, Monomy Frost is the most beautiful, kindest angel in the whole world. And she has just launched a 
fully vegan skincare brand called Frost Beauty. The packaging is just so beautiful. It's all very clean, like it just makes me feel calm. It, she very, very kindly sent me the whole collection to try and I love all of it, but this is by far my absolute favorite product. The cleansing mousse. This honestly like blew my mind when I first used it because when you pump it out, it is like a sort of moussey texture, which I don't always love because it makes me cringe a little bit, but that's just me. I applied this when I was getting in the shower, when I had like full face makeup on, I just started like rubbing it into my skin and it kind of like just disappears. Like it feels like there's loads of foam and then it just kind of goes and everything just melts with it. Like it is crazy. Um, I tattooed a girl the other day who had used this as well and she was like, it's insane. Like, where does it go? Everything just disappears. I don't know. Oh, so good. This is all I've been using to take my makeup off since I got it. Sort of like stripped back skincare, which I love, big fan of this. Um, so yeah, if you are looking for a new makeup remover or just a cleanser, you could definitely use this just to cleanse your skin anyway. Um, this is amazing, as is all of the collection. So yeah, love this. Love you, Monami, you lovely, lovely angel. For skincare, I've got one hair care product and then I'm gonna move on to makeup. Obviously, I've been through some hair changes recently. Um, my hair feels amazing considering how much we've done to it and um, Frankie at Glitch who has done my hair I will link her Instagram and everything down below she is just amazing if you remember I had my hair a very sort of really really warm coppery tone a couple of weeks ago um the intention was always to kind of end up at like a honey blonde but Frankie was like I don't want to just ruin your hair I want to kind of get you there slowly and just sort of like enjoy the process um which I really appreciate I've had copper hair before so I do love it but yeah now we're at this like really nice honey blonde stage i haven't had blonde hair in years and i actually really love it yeah i've been needing to take a little bit more care of it where i've had it bleached and stuff so this is the hair mask i've been using the most i kind of changed between this and the bleach london reincarnation mask they're my two like favorite mask ever paradox repair game changer hair mask this is so messy because i've like fucked up the lid somehow so it kind of leaks but um it smells so amazing this is a really nice consistency as well it's not really really thick. I've pretty much stopped shampooing my hair altogether which I know just sounds crazy and I am going to film a hair video at some point um but yeah I haven't really been shampooing it so I've been more sort of like just wetting it and scrubbing my hair with water and then hair masking it um, and my hair is loving that like that works really well for my hair type. This is one of my new favourite things um the shampoo and conditioner by them as well is amazing like when I have been washing my hair I probably do it every like month or so which i know people are going to be like oh that's gross but it works so well um their shampoo and conditioner are amazing as well next up um this is something that i just had to share with you um next up i've got this beautiful beautiful bag from emily flora she hand knits all of it i hope you can see this is like all knitted it's all handmade and it's just the most amazing thing ever I found her on instagram and then i bought that bag and some cushions as well I've got some yellow like swirly cushions by her just the most amazing ever like she hand makes all of it and it's just beautiful she does like cushions bags these really big chunky scarves i really want one of those um but yeah i just i just love them i think it's so cute like tote bags they're the kind of style of bag that i always go for um normally when i'm going to work i've got like my ipad and stuff i just have like a nice big bag i'm not really a mini bag sort of person um so that is like a really perfect size. But I've just mentioned her because I've loved that bag and every time I've taken it out, people always ask me where it's from and it is beautiful. So next up, I've got two books that I wanna talk about. I, I don't know if I've spoken about this. I don't think I have. I think I posted about it on Instagram. But if you've heard it before, just humor me. Just go along with it, okay? Book, you've probably seen this quite a lot. And um, this is Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. Every time I'd ask for book suggestions over probably like the past year, this one came up all the time. And I was like, mm, mm. you know when you don't know why you're putting something off, but you kind of just are. Um, honestly, I think it was the cover, which I know is very shallow of me, but I'm an arty girl. What can I say? I do think that's one of the, the most important things to me, which I know is bad. And I am in fact judging a book by its cover, but I don't like this. And it made me feel like it was going to be really like teenage -y and I don't know. But it isn't, it's so amazing and it's definitely one of my favourite books I've ever read. Um, so yeah, if you can get past this gold star situation, then you should. One of those books that I, I had no idea what to expect when I started reading it. I had no clue what it was about. One of those that kind of makes your heart feel a bit fuzzy. I did feel a little bit softer after I read this lovely book and it, it makes you feel a bit emotional. It's about kind of like loneliness and building relationships and all of that. I don't remember where I read this. I don't know if it was sort of in here somewhere, 
she'd written something about it, but the author kind of said that she wanted to write about loneliness in younger people because when we think about people living alone, we tend to assume like elderly people, but actually a lot of younger people don't see anybody other than sort of going to and from work. It's a very lovely book. I feel like it's one of those that everybody should have read at some point. One of those that kind of does stick with you. I read a lot of books and most of the time I like them, but it's quite rare that something will like really stick with me, but I feel like this did. I believe they make it into a film. Have I made that up? I don't think I have. I think Witherspoon has bought the rights to it, I think, and it's gonna be a film. So that's good. So yeah. I don't, have I just made that up? I don't know, I feel like I've heard that somewhere. I think I've, I think that's true. <laughs> Fuck knows, it's spreading fake news. The next book, again, one that you've probably seen quite a lot. This is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Um, so this is written by Taylor Jenkins Reid, who wrote Daisy Jones and the Six. Um, I read that book, I think like last summer. Absolutely loved it. Um, if you haven't read that already, you definitely should. It's like loosely based on Fleetwood Mac, apparently. I definitely had to read this. I love her style of writing so much. I think she's got a new book called Malibu Rising, which I'm going to purchase. Yeah, this is fucking amazing. Like the best book I've ever read. Like, hands down. I'm happy to say that. Again, got recommended to me a lot. I have no idea really what to expect with this, and it is a roller coaster, it really is. One of those I stayed up till about one o'clock in the morning because I wanted to finish it. And I don't do that, I'm asleep by 10 o'clock every night, so this is serious when I feel like that. Um, but yeah, love this so, so much. This is one of those that, normally with a book that I really like, I don't want it to be made into a film because I'm like, you're gonna fuck this up so bad. But this, I've got the cast list ready. I know who I would want for all of it. And if anyone's interested in going into production, you know where to find me. I sadly read a lot of shit books recently as well that I really do not like. Um, so yeah, they're the two that I actually enjoyed. Pained me to get through them, but I'm, I'm a very much like, if I start something, I've got to finish it. So I have got through all of them, but they're the two that I actually liked. To get back into Goodreads as well. I do have a Goodreads account, but I just keep forgetting to post on it, but I am going to get back into it. Watch me never do it. So last but not least, I've got some makeup bits to go through. First of all, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw me talking about this the other day. Um, this is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This is the shade June 7.5. Um, so this is a tinted hydrating gel cream. One of my lovely friends, Ellie, works for Bare Minerals and she is just amazing at like suggesting things that she knows I'm gonna love. And this was one of them. She was like, you will love this. Basically saying to her that I wanted like a new kind of everyday foundation that's very glowy, but we're still gonna last because I'm wearing a mask a lot of the time and yeah, I just want something that's gonna stay put but still looks really glowy. Um, I've got this on today and you can see the glow is insane. I've got a highlight on as well because I love really, really glowy, but on its own, this is still so beautiful. I've tried this a couple of different ways. I prefer using a brush with it, just like a sort of a short kind of like stippling brush. Um, I have tried it with my hands, definitely does work as well, but I think personally I just prefer brushes. It just feels a little bit like less messy and I feel like I get a nicer finish. Um, but you definitely can use this with your hands if you prefer to just kind of chuck something on and go. This gives a really nice amount of coverage. It's just enough coverage without feeling like a foundation. Like it doesn't feel like you have anything on your skin um, and it just adds a really nice glow. So I think this is gonna be one of them that I'm gonna rebuy literally forever. I love this so, so much. Um, and yeah, I, I haven't actually used anything else on my skin for weeks since I got this, so yeah. So next up, this is the Milk Makeup Electric Glossy Lip Plumper. This is the clear one. There's a hair in it. Disgusting. Um, I don't tend to use lip plumpers because they just terrify me. I hate that feeling of like tingly lips. It just freaks me out. But I used this one the other day for like a look where I wanted like a really glossy lip and this was the only sort of clear gloss that I had. Um, and it's so good. Like I actually applied it and then kind of wiped it off like five minutes later and it still gave me that like plumping effect without excruciating pain. Um, this isn't super painful actually. If you've ever used a Too Faced lip injection one, you know real pain and this is not it. Yeah, I really like this. If you are into like a lip plumper, these are so good. Um, they have like tinted ones as well. I've got like a really nice nudie colour one, which I've been wearing a bit. Um, but yeah, really love this. So next up is a fragrance. Um, I never know whether to talk about fragrances. Like people ask me like, oh, what perfume do you wear? But I just feel like unless you can smell it, which you can't, is it pointless? I don't know, but perfume adverts, I never really get it because we can't smell anything, so it's just visually confusing. I love perfumes, I love scents, I love things smelling nice, like 
if you know me, you know my room always smells nice. I always have candles burning, incense, I'm obsessed with it. I tend to like change perfumes quite a lot. I'm not really one of those people that has like a signature scent. I like to kind of always change it. Um, but this is the one that I am just so in love with recently. So this is the Atelier Cologne Orange Sanguine. It smells like oranges. That's it. I'm not going to try and be fancy. That's literally it. You know, when you like peel an orange and you get that really fresh, uh, oh, it's just like the perfect smell for summer. I love it so much. It makes me just feel happy. Oranges make me feel happy anyway. I don't know why. Like a kind of a, what are they called? Um, small so sample. <laughs> Fuck my life. Um, a sample thing of perfumes from this brand. They're not really a brand that I've heard a lot about, um, but they stock them on like Cult Beauty, Space NK. There's a plane, it's very loud. So I got this off Space NK, um, but yeah, they're all so nice. So I always keep like little mini perfumes in my bag. I just like to have them with me. And every time I use this one, everyone was like, oh my God, what is that? That smells so nice. So um, no one that I know talks like that, but. So I've got a couple of products from Vive. Um, as you all know, I absolutely love Vive. I love Jamie so much and the brand is just everything that I expect it to be and more. So the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is the Vive Skin Dew. So I was actually one of the faces, I don't know, whatever of this branding when it came out. Um, a lot of people that were receiving their orders now own a card with my face on it and I hope that you cherish that and I hope that you don't draw a moustache on me. I've got this pretty much all over my face today. I use this before makeup, so I actually put this on and then this and then concealer and it is the perfect combination. Just patted a little bit like over the high points of my face after. Um, I love products that are really versatile and I know that I could take this away with me and use it for like 10 different things. Um, you can use this on your body, I've applied it to like my shoulders and collarbones before and it just looks amazing. It's the creamiest texture ever so it never separates your makeup. I'm not a big fan of like a glittery highlight on me, I prefer like a more sort of wet look kind of strobe cream sort of look. So this is absolutely perfect. Um, really good to use under foundations just to make everything a little bit glossier. I've actually used this on its own as well and I've got no foundation on anything. I just want to kind of brighten my skin up a little bit. It is the best. I know that everybody who uses this is obsessed with it. Um, and yeah. Kisses for you. Next up, this is the new Modern bronzer from Vive. Got the shade medium and it has medium one and medium two in it. Like this slightly warmer, more kind of all over bronzy shade and then a slightly deeper, more kind of contoury shade. Um, I've got this on today as well and I've been using this ever since it arrived and I love it. Um, I feel like I've been looking for a new bronzer that I really love for a while. Um, I've used ones that I like but I don't feel like I've ever had a bronzer that I'm like, yeah, I really love that. Um, but this is so nice. I just love the colour. It's like warm enough without being too warm um i've got quite like olivey skin so things can look a little bit too warm on my skin sometimes but this is the perfect color and the consistency is just the consistency is so creamy i don't know if you can see that but it's just, you can see this but like the consistency is so creamy why are my little fingers so far away come back i think feels very luxurious as well like this packaging i don't know if you can see it. it's kind of like slightly sort of embossed feels like those expensive bags you know but last but not least, I've got one more thing that I need to talk about and then I need to go to work because I'm late. So this is the Valentino Beauty sort of new launch. Um, if you haven't seen it already, oh my god, the campaign for it is just beautiful. It is just... Ah. I think it's very like editorial, there's a lot of like weird shit going on. I'm obsessed with it. I really love all of the collection actually, but this is the one thing that just really stood out to me. So this is the Dream Dust Multi Reflective Eye Glitter. This is the shade 04. Um, Look at this. Used it in like a sort of graphic liner look the other day and I'll like put a picture here because I know when you see that it's kind of hard to imagine what that would actually look like. Now it's kind of a weird, like it's glittery but it's not like chunky glitter. But you can see it's super reflective, very, very glittery but not in a really chunky way. Like it didn't actually hurt my eyes. It still feels quite fine. Um, It feels quite creamy. I think it's got some sort of cream in it that kind of like binds it together. It's not really like the sort of glitter that just falls everywhere. Um, but yeah, it's just such a beautiful, like, really sort of denim -y. Oh, so amazing. I just want to cover my face in it. But I'm pretty sure that is everything that I wanted to mention today. Every time I film a favourites video, I find loads of things later in the day that I'm like, oh, shit, should have mentioned that. But off the top of my head, these are my favourite things from recently that I absolutely love. Very nice today to have just kind of sat down, talk about some things that I love, um, kind of just get back into the swing of it. I never know how much I'm going to post on YouTube. It's one of those things. I never kind of 
dedicated myself to it and sort of said like, oh, I'm gonna post every week or I'm gonna post, I, I tend to just do it if and when I feel like it, which I know is probably not the best thing when you're trying to watch someone's videos, but like I have to love it and I have to be really sort of motivated and I have to kind of have the energy to do it. Otherwise I just hate everything that I do. Thank you for being like patient and kind of sticking around. It's just been like a crazy past month, but things are kind of starting to like settle down and feel a little bit back to normal now. I've got a bit more free time, which is really nice. So yeah, hopefully I'll be back into the swing of filming and posting quite regularly because I do love it and I miss you all very much. As always, everything that I have mentioned in today's video will be linked in the description box down below. You'll have a lovely rest of the day, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I love you all so much and I will see you all very soon. Love you.